you know, I'm not trying to steal, you know, your agent's client here. <laughs> I'm actually trying to help both of you. you find call, her back? call her back, dude. Call her back. Today we have my guy, Jason Pryor, right? <laughs> Jason Pryor. What's up, bro? Hey, how's it going, Ricky? How's it going? Good, man. Good, man. So tell everybody uh, how long you've been in the business, uh, what market you're in, all that good stuff, man. Tell everybody a little something about you. Well, I've been in the business, what, three and a half years. I'm over here in the Southeast Texas, over here in Beaumont. Cool, cool, cool. Um, who are you calling today? I'm going to circle prospect around a local neighborhood. It actually, it's my neighborhood. You know, we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> hey, let's hear Jason on the phone, man. Let's get that circle dialing. I want to hear that phone ringing. I want to hear people saying, hello. I want to hear people saying, who the hell are you? And cussing you out. I want to hear all that stuff. I like to hear that sound. Come on. Hello? Hello. Is this Mr. Silva? Mr. Who? Mr. Silva. I'm looking for the owner of 1117 Wild Meadow over here in Beaumont. Ooh, 1117 Wild Meadow. Yes. Oh, okay. Are you the owner? Yes. Yes, this is Jason Pryor with EXP Realty. How are you doing today? Pretty good. And that's good. Me too. Just enjoying this beautiful weather outside. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good, ain't it? Well, look, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but they had a house that just listed in the neighborhood, and I was just reaching out to some of the neighbors, you know, to see what you think. I was in the market to sell. Oh, no, no. I, I sold that one a long time ago. Oh, you already sold the property? Congratulations. But did you still in the area? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I live out in Pinewood. Oh, Pinewood. Oh, okay, okay. Do you have an agent that you would work with if you did buy or sell in the future? Taryn Hebert. Taryn Hebert. Oh, okay. You're in great hands. You're in great hands. Well, I appreciate you taking my call today, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, One down. Kaboom, dude. Kaboom. Did you say that was an LLC? Yeah, it was a uh, LLC. I think that's who was the purchased it. What, what was Richard Pryor's famous tagline? <laughs> you want me to say it on here? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Christina. Hello. Yeah, so I was looking for the owner of 1168 Briar Meadow Drive in Beaumont. Oh, it used to be us, but not anymore. We don't own that. Though. No, no longer. Oh, okay, okay. I, I don't know who owns it now. Oh, okay, okay. So you sold that property already? Yes. Okay, excellent, excellent. Well, congratulations. Do you still live in the area? Yeah, I live in Beaumont. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No. Is there anything I can do for you today? Uh, no, thank you. All right. And again, my name is Jason Pryor with EXP Realty. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call, okay? Sure will. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Dude, you have this. You have this. I don't know, man. You, you, you got something going on, bro. <laughs> you got something going on, man. This, this, you got a, like a superpower or something, man. No, no. Like you got you got people like I hear both of those people I heard in their voice. They were like, they're like, yeah, like mm -hmm. they have this little question mark on everything they're saying, like, huh? But mm -hmm. then like you keep coming with this real calm like demeanor mm -hmm. and it and it and they just they never like get mad or hang up like what happens most of the time. Yes, I see. It's that just like they're right in the middle. They're just like, OK, they like they don't know what to do. Like you got them froze. They're statues. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised I'm getting many pickups at this time of day. Hello. Hello. How are you doing today? Good. And you? I am awesome. I am awesome. Better to good and better than most. This is Jason Pryor with EXP Realty. I'll just give you a call because that house did sold around the corner from the property at 1181 Briar Meadow Drive. And I was just reaching out to you yeah. to see if there's anything I can do to help you. Um, not right now. We're planning on um, leasing it. Oh, really? Really? I uh, just wanted to let you know I am one of your neighbors as well, and I was just reaching out to you. Is that right there at 1181, right? Yes, sir, 1181. Oh, you have it on the market right now? Uh, well, we have it with uh, A-Right Management to uh, to lease out. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. You currently have it on the contract. Okay. Well, um, yeah. well, what I could do is I'm going to reach out to them and see if I can get you a renter up in there and help you out, okay? Yeah. I mean, we usually just, do, we've done business with her for uh, probably 20 years. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. Uh, Y'all got a great relationship, and I know she's going to have you in yeah. great hands, but, you know, there are yeah. some, 
Yeah, I can assist you in that process as well. If I can bring you a rent over there, I'm going to just reach out to her and just see what I can do to help y'all, okay? Uh, I'd rather not. I'd rather just do business with her. Uh, I'm a buyer's agent as well. as I bring tenants to the properties as well. That's what I was saying. Yeah. No, we'll just let um, we'll let uh, Shirley handle it for us, but thank you. All righty. Thank you. you. Have a great day. Right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'd rather have her do it. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Well, no, no. I would have had to break that down for her, man. I would have yeah. been like, listen to me, okay? Let me tell you how this works, okay? Mm-hmm. She is going to handle it for you, but I can actually represent the renter and her still represent you. Mm-hmm. And I can bring the renter there to help you get it rented and surely still represent you, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, listen, I'm not trying to do anything. I would have had to really break that down, man. Yeah, I was going to break it down here more, but for the time being, I didn't want to press. No, dude, for the time I, being, you should have broke it down. That would have been great content. Yes, I don't. Hey. <laughs> I almost want to call her back and say, listen, man, I just want you to know that, you know, I'm not trying to steal, you know, your agent's, you know, client here. <laughs> I'm actually trying to help both of you find you call a her back? For- Call her back, dude. Call her back. Explain this to her, bro. What she needs to understand. Message after the tone. Well, we tried. We tried. Yeah, we tried. Well, still can help her at the end of the day. I can reach. I'm still going to yeah, reach the agent. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, tenant. So, Hello. So. How are you doing? Who is this? This is Jason Pryor with EXP Realty. How are you doing today? Uh, I don't guess I know you. What can I do for you? <laughs> I'm one of your neighbors. I was just reaching out to you. Uh, just enjoying the weather today. And I was just reaching out because they had a house that just sold around the corner from you. And I was just reaching out to see if there's anything I can do for you today. Uh, no, and don't call me again. Oh, yeah. okay. No problem at all, ma'am. I'll put you on my personal do not call, okay? Right there when she was like, oh, do I know you and all this? And you said, oh, I'm your neighbor. And then you said, I'm enjoying the day, but look, a house around the corner sold. Just calling to see if there's something I could do for you, right? At that point, bro, she is not identifying you as a real estate agent. Okay. She has not realized you're a real estate agent. She, she thinks you're some wacko in her neighborhood stalking her and wondering if you can do anything right. for her, mm-hmm. right? She doesn't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. So right there, it would have been like, I'm your neighbor and I'm also a local real estate agent. Mm-hmm. You know, like she did not identify you as an agent. That's why mm-hmm. it, the whole thing was weird at the end. It's like, I'm a real estate agent, you know, and I live in your neighborhood, you mm-hmm. know, and, you know, there was a house that just sold, you know, just calling if there's anything I could do to help you, you know, buying or selling or, you know, anything I could do whatsoever. Hello. Hello, Mr. Powell. I do for you. I'm great. I'm great. This is Jason Pryor with EXP Realty. How are you doing? Okay. What can I do for you, Jason? Oh, well, I just want to reach out to you to see uh, if I can assist you today. I'm a real estate agent, and I was just seeing uh, what I can do to help you. Because I did have a house sold around the corner from you, and I was just reaching out to see if there's anything I can do for you today. About what? About real estate. No. I'm good, Jason. Thank you. Oh, okay. No, I got you. Is there an agent that you will work with if you did do anything in the future? Right there. Okay. Here's two things. And mm-hmm. like this, this video literally is like your homework. Go back and watch this video and listen to all this. Look at all the comments. Take it all in, man. The whole, this whole situation so that you can really try to get something out of this. But like, here's another one. When he said, like, what? You know, and you said real estate, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, come back and say, I don't know, like maybe buying or selling a piece of property. Yeah. Cause real estate can mean so many different things. You know, so many different things. Hello, Mr. James. Oh, yeah, the wrong number. Oh, I had the wrong number. Okay. Do you live in uh, Southeast Texas? Yes, sir. Awesome. Awesome. My name is Jason Pryor, and I'm with EXP Realty. You know, you need a good realtor, my man? Oh, no. Nah, I mean, nah, not right now. Not right now. you be looking in the future, won't you? Not yet. I'm still in college. Oh, you're still in college? Hey, you know that time in college can count towards the house. You know that in the future, right? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And what are you going to school for, if I may ask? Uh, industrial technology. Oh, that's awesome, man. What are, What are you looking to do after that? Shoot, I, I play football, so I'm in this football right now. But if not, I'm going to do it at the plant. Oh, at the plant? Oh, okay, okay. Then I see them uh, them prices coming back over down at all, so that might be a good thing right now, huh? Yep. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Is there? Would it be okay if we could stay in touch? Yes, sir. Okay, great, great. Is this your uh, cell phone number right here? Yeah, it's my cell phone number. 
Oh, okay. And what would be a good email address to send your information to? You know, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call anytime, okay? All right. Thank you, sir. No, no problem. You have a good day. Dude, listen, all right. it's all practice. Mm -hmm. Practice. Remember that Allen Iverson? Yes. Practice. Practice. Yes. This is practice. Practice. You so, about man, practice. like everything, everything is practice. So, like, you took that situation and you turned it into, like, okay, this guy's in college, like, whatever. Most people would have been like, all right, see you later. You actually was like, what are you studying? This and that, and connected and mm -hmm. came through with the data. Who knows? That guy could turn into some serious client for you down the road. Either way it goes, you develop, you like, you took such a huge step forward towards learning how to communicate right there. No, I just I just like how like most people wouldn't even have looked at that as an opportunity, but you went for it. That's what I like. That tells me you're not gonna leave any stone unturned. No, no. <laughs> you leave no stone unturned, man. I would never do that. That's just leaving money on the table at the end of the day. So